a mess out there. Winter weather walloping West Michigan all day today and tonight. MDOT reporting at least seven crashes on I-94 so far today in Kalamazoo and Van Buren counties. Police say weather is to blame for a number of crashes and slide-offs on that interstate. And just this afternoon, a Michigan State Police trooper was injured in a crash on 94 in Van Buren County. And that's where we find News Channel 3's Mike Kravesick with an update on that trooper's condition. The crash happened behind me on this stretch of I-94 near the Hartford exit. You could see these two MSP troopers parked in a median. Well, that's where police say where the trooper was when he was struck just hours ago. MSP says two patrol vehicles were struck within a matter of hours. Both crashes occurring within a mile of each other. As you can see, the visibility and conditions out here are only getting worse. Heavy snow and whiteout conditions causing crashes and highway closures across West Michigan. Then pretty much typical Michigan weather. We haven't seen a whole lot this year yet, but yeah. State police say the stretch of I-94 in Van Buren County is one of the most dangerous in the region. Hours ago, police say a small pickup lost control, hitting an MSP patrol vehicle parked in the median near mile marker 47 on I-94. Police say the trooper inside suffered a minor head injury and was taken to the hospital. It could have been a lot worse. Van Buren County Dispatch tells me there's been 104 snow-related slide-offs and crashes in the county since yesterday. A jackknife semi truck shut down parts of I-94 for hours this morning. A driver crashed into an empty state trooper vehicle responding to a crash near exit 46. Lots of slide offs, ditches, uh, rollover. We'll be up all night, all day. Michael Weglar's towing business in Pawpaw is keeping busy. And it's not just on the interstate. The back roads are extra dangerous this year. Since police say they've been responding to crashes nonstop since yesterday, they urge drivers to slow down. Police say they've ticketed the driver who crashed into the trooper for driving too fast for road conditions. People are moving way too fast for these conditions. Um, I-94 is an ice rink. State police say the snow is falling so fast right now that plow drivers are unable to keep up with it. And as you can see, it is piling up rapidly here. Police say if you have nowhere to go, stay home and stay off the roads tonight. Thank you, Jeff, and good morning, West Michigan. Game on, January acting like January this morning. I'm Kirk Mason. You're so right, Kirk. Good morning, I'm Laura Painter. Thanks for joining us. And let's take a look at what our team is seeing out in the field. Winter weather sweeping through West Michigan, causing road conditions to deteriorate. News Channel 3's Amira Austin joining us from a very snowy Kalamazoo right now at this hour. And uh, Amira, I gotta say, it was not snowing that hard when I was driving in this morning, so it seems like it's picking up, but what are you seeing? Good morning, Kirk. Yes, those flurries are picking up right now. I'm actually in Matawan near exit 66. Um, now on I-94 going eastbound, we did see a crash. Traffic is backed up. I'm going to stand out of the way so you can see here. There are crews on scene. There was lots of semis along the road. I also saw a car being towed away. So this is definitely a day if you could stay home, I would avoid driving. Again, crews are on scene working on that crash to get it cleared. Uh, road the roads out here, you know, they're still very slick, still very snow covered. But I mean, the good news is I have seen a lot of snow piles out today. Um, so trying to get those roads clear. So just be patient. Take it slow. If you do have to get out, road officials say high traffic roads are going to take priority. So if you're out, make sure you give those snow plows enough room um, to get by. Drivers should stay a safe distance away. And you might not see a lot of salt trucks out this morning. That's because the Michigan Department of Transportation says more salt isn't always the cure for these slick roads. 20 degrees is kind of the generally held uh, floor. Uh, anything below that, it's just too cold. Uh, anything the salt melts uh, freezes immediately. Uh, it's counterproductive and actually causes more of a, of a safety hazard than it does resolve anything. Again, I am live in Mattawa near exit 66. I-94 going eastbound is backed up, so I would avoid the area due to a crash. Um, this is a great time to download our weather alert network app to stay up to date on where this winter weather will be moving.
Keith, in between shots of snow, people braved the frigid cold to see Lake Michigan in all its winter glory. It's an awesome sight to mm -hmm. see, although of course dangerous. Our Andrew Feather is in South Haven tonight talking with folks who headed to the beach on a snow day. As you can probably tell, it's very cold and windy out here right now. Several times I've seen some of the seagulls here actually get up to start flying, but then get pushed back several feet. Now, I know I would rather be inside right now, but some South Haven residents tell me that being out here at the beach in the freezing cold is fun. Winds roar, waves crash onto the beach, and icicles hang from the handrails on the pier. Another winter storm rolls in over Lake Michigan. As West Michigan deals with treacherous roads, school closures, and freezing temperatures, some South Haven residents did the last thing most people would think of. It's just really cool watching them crash on the pier, and I don't, you don't really get to just hang out and, you know, see this kind of stuff. Nicole Volkner came to check out the waves and get a look at the beach when it's not jam-packed with tourists. Others take a stroll along a mix of sand and snow. All bundled up at the beach, the cold can be enjoyable in small doses. In Kalamazoo, people struggling to find warmth gather at the Salvation Army's warming center. I think sometimes we get home and we're nice and warm, but we don't think of the individuals who don't have that roof over their head. For people who don't have a home or heat at their house, warming centers are a safe haven to get out of dangerously low temperatures. At the beach, peak season for locals comes when the temperatures plunge. At least one person even hopped in the bone-chilling water to take advantage of big waves to go surfing. Locals tell me winter is the one time of year they can take in the views or find solitude on the lake. I like to come down here when there's nobody down here, you know. It's nice. Um, us locals kind of get like, this is our beach time, you know, when there's not a lot of tourists in town. People here are bracing for even more winter weather and we could see the large waves, gusts of wind and several more inches of snow overnight. 